Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Don't hesitate. Eh? Don't hesitate. Economic and equity party, I can assure you, Economic and Equity Party is going to be the biggest opposition political party. Economic and Equity Party is the party that is going to take over from UPND. I can assure you that. Don't uh, underrate us. Don't underrate us. We know what we are doing. And uh, we will do our politics responsibly um, in a sober manner no name calling, no fighting with the police, no fighting with the government, we will offer checks and balances. We will offer checks and balances. Don't doubt in your mind. Don't doubt in your mind that Chilufatayali will not talk about the welfare of the Zambian people. Don't. I know some people are trying to create this impression that now I'm becoming a praise singer. Not at all. Not at all. And the UPND, I am not in any way saying that uh, uh, I'm joining UPND, I'm going to work with UPND. I'm going to work with the government, yes. Working with the government, of course I will work with the government on issues that we agree. But issues that we do not agree, there is no way I'm going to be part of it. I will criticize. I will criticize President Hakainde Ichilema, no doubt. I will criticize this government. I will criticize them, but I will not call them names. And I will not I will not lie against them. No. No. I will not insult them. That is the new political strategy that I have embraced. So some people want to, you know, to to make me look like now I've been bought by UPND. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing of that sort. Nothing. The UPND are watching me the same way that you are watching me. That's all. The UPND, I'm sure even wherever they are sitting, they're just like, what is going on? What is going on with this guy? The same way that you are looking at me to say, what is going on? That is the same way that they are looking at me. Because I've not engaged the UPND in any way, at any level, no ways. Mm -hmm. This position that I've assumed is not for anything, is not for me to make money. No, I still don't have money. I still don't have money. I'm still struggling. I still have my bills around this house. I still have them. I still have them. I'm talking about 1,500. That is the money that I have, mobile, eh, which came to me. And I don't have money really. And I was actually thinking to say 1,500, okay, I can at least see a few it can take me, you know. Coming back, you know, somewhere, somehow God will provide. So don't be cheated. Don't be cheated. Nami papata. You people who are genuine, you people who are objective, never should you be cheated that UPND has bought me. By UPND, Vakaso, by UPND Tavashta Vantu. Ngawengi Vashta. There are a lot of people that would have gone to UPND if UPND was buying a political players like the way Super League, you know, buys players or Champions League buys players. A lot of people would have gone to UPND. But here we have a UPND, I mean, they, 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 the cadres of UPND, people who worked for UPND, who sacrificed for UPND. Who lost the property under UPND? They are still struggling. They are still struggling. Have I never UPND? I was saying, have I never UPND? The cadres were UPND. In end of Umfuda no Ruse. 
a lot of them are struggling. A lot of them are struggling. So I don't understand why some people come up and start accusing uh, people like me to say, no, no, you have been bought. Why would you PND buy me instead of looking after their cadres? If they are not looking after their cadres, how can they come and buy me? What the position that I've taken, the new political stance is really just for my peace because honestly, it has been very difficult for me. It has been very difficult. I've been going to court and police, what? I mean, I, I, I want some peace. I want some peace. But it is also good for the country because instead of me wasting time in court, instead of me wasting time and everything, I can do something constructive. I can do something constructive. I can go somewhere. I can interact with people. I can listen to your problems. I, I, I can do a lot instead of wasting time kuma koti na kuliwa na ku policy so that is that is the only reason that is the only reason and it's not an issue of being cowardice uh -uh. it's not a big issue of being cowardice it's not a, an issue of no bakuna uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. i'll still offer checks and balances and i would rather i am arrested for offering checks and balances Properly, because I know the thing is that when a party is in power, when sometimes you criticize them and it hurts them, they are bound to send police on you. It is a fact. It is a fact. But at least I will be happy that the issue that they are arresting me for, it is for me talking, talking for the people in the Copper Belt, talking for the people who work in KCM. These are the cases that will make me proud. Even if in Dimkota I'll be, I'll be proud if I'm going to be arrested for that. But I know I'm not going to be arrested for talking about Vedanta to say, Vedanta, he company more later. This company failed. Eh? And I've seen it is circulating on social media that now I'm Congo Empire. They are promising that they are going to, to bring in money. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but I have seen that Vedanta now am Congo Olympia. Now, if Vedanta wale Congo Olympia, if they are broke, how do you expect them to bring in liquidity? They are promising liquidity, but wale am Congo. If that is true, I mean, honestly, then we have gone at ourselves. We have gone at ourselves, and I don't know for how long these people will come and, you know, uh, take advantage of us. I don't know for how long. So those kind of issues, I will talk about them. And I will, if I'm arrested on those issues, at least not I'm arrested for defending, you know, some, uh, some people because of their corruption allegations, because of whatever, whatever. No, no, no. That is, that's what I've refused. And then I also don't want to go, you know, to be, to be in court because of hate speech, no, because you said this. No, I'm not, I don't want that. So, please, those of you who follow me, you know, genuinely, not because I because I speak good of you, UPND, or I speak good of PF, those of you who follow me in that in that trajectory, you will actually be happy with me. A number of people have actually congratulated me, they have sent me messages of encouragement. I'm really grateful to all of you that have sent me those uh, those messages. Of course, I will work with the politicians who are of like mind. I will work with politicians who are of like mind. I will not work with politicians who will drag me kumakoti, who will uh, make me go I will not work with those kind of politicians. I will not do that. I will not do that. I will not give solidarity to people that are just being careless. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I am not. And I will give my comments regardless of who issues it or what from what from my from whatever point of view. Wampata wampata. But I will say it as it is. I will analyze issues as 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 just what it is. So that is about my new stance. 
I hope you understand because some of you no 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 you have stopped whatever eh hey, mwanenu kawangu whatever ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, shinenu uh. ike shinenu ike I'm just changing the manner that I'm, I I engage politically and of course I um I'm I'm trying to engage uh, people that uh, I feel that those that uh, cases I've got a number of cases but those cases which I can negotiate uh, out of court I'm 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 engaging people I'm engaging people I want to tell you this I'm engaging people and I'm saying this because tomorrow you will hear know that one case has uh, this case has been withdrawn and you'll be saying no the government that's why no 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 government is not even involved government is not even involved i am doing it personally na ile kuri wachimu kuri chief mukuni neka i went on my own i went kuri chief mukuni now i am engaging other people with some of these cases that i have it is me just me personally engaging negotiating my way that's all that's all and this is not to say uh, i'm scared that uh, you know i'm losing a case or i'm guilty no no it's not about that it's not about that it's not about that because this is a problem that we we usually have when you hear that somebody is trying to settle a matter out of court usually we assume he's guilty he's scared that he's going to court no 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 it's not about that it's not about that i can save time instead of allowing the case to continue uh, you know the rotwa yatu alondola at jani shanshani ama lawyers if i can engage whoever i am aggrieved with or whoever is aggrieved with me i mean why not why not you save on time you save on resources so much as you may this is and this is the point i was trying to to talk about during the day take a leaf from what i'm doing if you have got cases some of these cases which don't look which you know especially those which don't look good engage people settle out of court this is this is a general advice to to everyone if you have got cases with whoever it is your friend whoever whatever if you can settle your cases out of court it's better yes we have democracy we have our courts but don't be excited to go to court don't be excited to go to court don't be excited to stand in court and whatever no 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 if you can settle your matters out of court much better much better i'm telling you if you can settle your cases out of court much better than to go all the way especially when you when you are bubbling with confidence that no 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 i mean i'm i'm going to win i'm going to win i mean anything can happen at the end of the day anything can happen it is possible that the case that you are seeing that you know this case is like this it will go like this it might go the other way you know but even if you are winning if you can save yourself time from going to court three months four months we have to court if you can save that three months you finish the case today why not why not most of the times the problem talk what we are full of pride we are full of pride we want to win we want to show yeah i've won yes i've won over him i've won I've... no 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 sometimes it's not necessary sometimes it's not necessary sometimes it's better you know both of you just you know settle your, your 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 cases both of you you become winners if it is to be winners or both of you become losers sometimes it's better than to just no i i'll continue i'll continue and i want to say especially some of these cases which look which we, some of these cases we can even see that this case is bad some of these cases that are in court relating to some of my fellow politicians some of them have sat in court have listened to evidence some of them trust me some of these cases you would rather negotiate your way out hmm?
You would rather negotiate your way out. Baby, go and sleep. Some of these cases, you would rather negotiate your way out. Please, you would rather negotiate your way out. And that's what I'm doing. So next time you hear at whatever, no, this case has been withdrawn. What I'm saying is that don't think that, uh, no, Tayari has been bought and this was the negotiation package because a lot of people like fabricating such lies. Me, I'm telling you truthfully, truthfully, I can even give you other details on how I'm doing this and that, but except that some of these things, I mean, you do them in the background, you don't bring them to the public. You don't, neg you don't negotiate in public. You do them, uh, you know, behind whatever. And then you see the results. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing that without shame. Without shame, I'm doing it. I think it is, it is good. It will save the court's time. They can look at other matters instead of looking at our political cases. The courts will, will spend time looking at the other, other matters. I'm doing that. And then, of course, you know, um, sometimes, yes, we get excited. You know, we get excited. We say these things. It's not deliberate because some people will say, no, but I mean, you do this. No, no, no. Sometimes we get excited. We make mistakes. Yes, today I'm saying this. Even tomorrow I might make a mistake. But me, I'm not going to be ashamed to come back and say, I'm sorry. So it doesn't matter, you know, because some people say, no, 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 you always apologize. Uh -uh, I'm still human and I'll keep on making mistakes as long as I'm still living. And I'll keep on apologizing. Whenever I make a mistake, I'll apologize. You know, so, I mean, it's just me. And I do it genuinely. It's not a, a, a habit. No, it is genuinely realizing, okay, this is wrong. You know, for example, that statement that came from Munia Zulu to say Parliament is dissolving, eh, it brought uh, some some uh, apprehension in a number of people, and I'm talking about it because a number of people were asking me. There was even a lady that called me from uh, from London, asking me, "Is it true? I've heard that Parliament is being dissolved. Is it true?" And I was thinking to say, "Look, this is a careless statement that is causing." apprehension in the public i mean for people to call for, for somebody to call all the way from london calling it means i mean the, it, the 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 statement has caused the apprehension and these are the kind of statements that i'm talking about that i think we should be careful we should be careful when we are issuing some of these statements because they can send they can send apprehension anxiety in public especially these days when we are talking about coups 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 and then, you know, uh, you go and issue such a statement. I think that statement, uh, uh, with due respect to the Honorable Member of Parliament, uh, was, was out of order, really. It was out of order. Uh, but I want to, I'm talking about it here, because some of you have been talking about it, have been asking, and I'm glad that the uh, State House has also come in to issue a statement to that effect, that no... Parliament is not dissolving. So State Out has, has issued a statement. Parliament is not dissolving. And um, also the Minister of Information has also issued a statement in that regard to say, urging people to look forward to the opening of Parliament tomorrow by the President. Otherwise, that statement, I don't know where it was coming from. I don't know. I don't know what facts, uh, you know, the Honorable Member of Parliament had. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. But we have confirmation. State Out has spoken about it. Ministry of, Ministry of Information has spoken about it. And certainly, I, much as Waaka in the is not doing very well, but I don't think he uh, is at that point where you would... Uh, he would come and uh, just dissolve parliament like that. He's not doing well, yes. I mean, there are a number of things which are not doing right. That is a fact. But to come and dissolve parliament, I think that is, uh, uh, it, was, it was a careless statement. It was a careless statement. And those are the kind of statements that I'm talking about that we should be avoiding as politicians. Those are the kind of statements that, uh, you know, uh, that causes anxiety in, in people and we should avoid doing that. I am not perfect. Tomorrow I might issue a statement like that one. 
uh, please, those of you who are close to me, tell me to say, ah, but this statement, Tairi Bueno. And uh, I will have no shame to come back and say, I'm sorry for that statement. Yeah. Having said that, I am happy though. Uh, today, I am happy that uh, the trial for Chris Zuma and Zimba has started. They were in court today. Some officers, uh, some witnesses have testified. Chris Zuma and Zimba is in court. Some witnesses testified today. And uh, the matter will continue tomorrow. I am so glad that this matter is in court because justice will be saved. I strongly believe justice will be saved. Um, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, evening, Mr. Tari. Good evening. Yes, sir. Uh, you are kindly speaking with James Sakala is on the line. Yes, James Sakala. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, I've been uh, I've been following you currently on what you are saying. Uh, I would say this is the new step that you are taking in politics. But um, uh, you should also consider how people are a bit suffering and the high cost of living that is there. If you can consider that in your new way of politics, I would love uh, I would love it because. I love the way you are, you are now considering the new step. Uh, continue to the same speed. Otherwise, being in court is it's not a good thing anyway. Thank you. Yeah, all right, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So, of course, I'm not stopping talking. I'm not. I will continue talking. I will continue offering checks and balances, but differently, in a better manner. Hello? Yes, please. Ashki politician we work in a kumma. Every day we come to work, we make our own money, we choose our own life. Tomorrow we look at the work, we make our own money. Amen. Now we are going to do. The part we are going to do, we are focusing on our future. We are going to be better. Penny, we are going to be better. 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 Hello. Hello, Mister. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, yeah, this is Mister. Mwinga calling you from Kalomo. Yes, Mister. Mwinga. Yeah. So, yes, I've been following you from the time you started, and I'm 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 really impressed with the way you are growing politically. Um, you are on the right trajectory and will support you. I think the day you come to Kalomo, I would want to see you. I think I may be one of the people that will be joining you soon. So, uh, before uh, I have a question, uh, now that you are on the right trajectory, in this country we have two major problems. One, mm. the issue of fuel. Mm. In the event, and I'm not seeing this problem going away anytime soon, since we don't produce or the fuel, mm. how do you have any ideas on how you're going to tackle this problem if given a chance to be in power in the near future? That's number one question. Number two, uh, any idea or what solution do you have to the prices of minimum? Because um, I remember when you were growing up very young, there has never been one that came up with a solution. The price of mini meal has continued going up from the time of Kaunda all the way up to where we are. It's still going up. And we are looking for a solution. The problem, we know them. Most politicians, they come, like, I, I listen to almost everyone. 
they are just say no the price of mini meal is going high this government has failed it but we are looking for it. so we know that we have that problem but we are looking for it. so how do you intend to to, to to tackle that one in the near future as you contemplating on joining your party thank you thank you thank you very much i will respond to this uh, to this to this uh, to this question, eh? uh, I will take time. For now, let me just take some calls, but I want to articulate on on, on, on this point. Hello? Hello? Okay, yes, Derek. Ewa tadi urutan pemuruli le bro, luka lambor urus muru naruam. Urutan pemuabu la luawami nechalo luawami nado rupa luenu. Kuai bafola mikonka, nda mikonka guno guno sana kuba fiash, kuda mene mguwa tanda di la konsep muenda formulanda. Gamatimo ne ba tayari seventy five percent milan dwa mto la makoti chakula ni kwa wanto wa shirika shia. Hey, sana. Kuruhusu kuruhua bula, kuruhusu masala na nari mo na mo akubwa mukuni, abali ni mo na mokoa ti, mo apa pata kubwa mukuni mo alansha niya. Dawa so it's more bula, Muyasha, what a lemma, Avala Muava Landati, if you are Rufiania, Naveve Rufi, but could if twice what you want to land in a guavanto. Ukula no one land of Rufila, Pili, Galala, and the more problem in Chalo, not to land from Muntu. Hello? Emka? Yes, I'm well. I'm okay. I'm okay. Luta mkuro rusu masana tuwadi dide mifine mwileka mtuwadi dide fifine kulifuwewa dina imwe na fuwewa mijoina mwili chichina mwabula kulifuwewa mijoina tulefuwa ya kia akakule wino I usually have night programs so that's what I'm doing can I call you when I'm done ok 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 sorry I had to take that was an important call so I'm gonna call yeah now from kwa ina tote la sana Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Yes, Munishanwa. I am quite Munishanwa. I am I am calling you from Choma, but I'm 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 staying in Lusak. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm. Yeah, but there are going to be some very interesting things. You should also advise while you're playing. In any level, one of the UPND member, mm. but the way we are going to be dealing with each other, we feel that we can't take the risk. We want to save our number twenty-six. Now, we want to save our cash from members and participants. Mm. Sana. Mbeni walifu kuomba, walifu kuomba straight. Ini Afrika, kitu sistema politics ya straight like ye. Ta walifu kushita abantu wa kukwa fwa kukwa zini kuti. You have to, ukwa ta abantu wa wale kukwa, wale kukwa support ye, mu background. Kwa wala chita trakta abantu wa wengi, mu mchikani. Mwati ya jibari wa mdara. Ama huma minister zi wale ya weka. So, what's the advice? We can warn my members about at least some members in our own for which Panjara Pamur, but I start tracking a bambi or the folk join each pen. I don't want to go to Supam Dara. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yo, that point, that point, well taken, well taken, and I will talk about it as well. Mm. Sure, sure. 
na totera hello hello mm Eh uh, but I Um sorry uh this this evening I didn't follow your program I like that my phone calls but I just want to react on uh, what uh because I followed your live video I don't know that if that was in the morning or that was in the afternoon in the morning uh, yes your live video mm -hmm. yes yes um what you 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 had um, that uh, made us some very good uh Some very good points. Mm -hmm. uh, on, what, on, how the, on how our president Mr. Kainde is uh, reacting to these, uh, you know, on how he's uh, treating these oppositions. Because you, you, are, you are like, no, at least to Kainde, so this must be part on, on him, but at least he's got, uh, you know, he's got this capacity, at least he's got this capacity, but um, our opposition, unlike what Malungu used to do. Is it? Yes. Then you went ahead and said, you know, nowadays, uh, the people, you don't think there's someone who has stayed in Maseozi longer than you, are, you have uh, stayed? Yes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, yes. Um, I had commented on your live video, hoping that uh, you reply. Uh, since we are sharing ideas, uh, and uh, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Um, I want to ask you say really if this is if what you said is truly is truly correct because mm. you've been singing to say what Chris Zumanzimba is passing through is indeed injustice you know there's no justice about it, what Chris Zumanzimba is passing through yes so is uh, what you said uh, what the different uh, what, I mean what the case of uh, but Chris Zumanzimba because you said you know Uh, at least if uh, Haka in the restaurant, uh, but it is, you know, like you are the long, you know, you, are the, you don't think there's someone who has stayed in Marseille for a long time, more, more than you have stayed, you know, more than you have stayed this and that. But what of Chris Manzim, what of what happened to Kuliva Mumbi Piri? Was it justice to them? Because Mumbi Piri has stayed longer than Manan in prison. Was okay. it justice to her? Okay. Is it justice to uh, Chris Manzim? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then the other thing, sorry, I think we uh, we replied. Let me just uh, let's make a quick. That's what I give just to other to others. Um, the other thing is, uh, I think it's high time we stop comparing Valungu and uh, HH because uh, what happened in Valungu is the reason why we put it out to a PF. We understand that? Eh? Okay. We brought in the uh, UPND. So the way the reason why we brought in the UPND it wasn't a uh, looking for something uh, better, no, we are looking for the rule of law, we are looking out on what he promised so if he is arresting people and releasing them who seek and you call it better than what the PF did, no, we are not looking for that justice is an injustice either uh, Mr. Rilisi, Muzuva or Yusiku, what he promised was the rule of law ok So if the rule of law is not practiced, if he can't score that better, more than what Valungu used to do, Valungu made his own mistakes, and he, he has done his part. I think it's high time we forget about Valungu and concentrate on what they promised. So stop telling people to say no. This at least we are in the tolerant. No, at least the opposition you know, when they are arrested, they, they are being released. Who wish to move and then you are released? No. This is not what we are looking for. What we are looking for is the, the low cost of living, the rule of law. This is what we are looking for. And not uh, something better than what you are done. Uh -uh. What you promised is what we are looking for. Okay. Thank you, Mana. I've, I've, I've heard you. I've heard you and I will, I will talk about this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I will I st just stay on. I'll give you my opinion. You have given your opinion. I will give my opinion very soon. Hello? Um, good evening, Mr. Shifreka. Good evening. How are you, sir? Fine, fine, thank you. You are speaking to Patrick from Osaka. Okay. Uh, personally, I should congratulate you for uh, on on this uh, big milestone. Mm. Because it's, it's, it's not easy. I was one of those people that used to follow you way back. Mm. 
and uh, I was a bit disappointed along the way, uh, seeing that you are being arrested here and there. And if you look at the cases, like he explained, they're not cases that maybe you did something wrong. Maybe it's about money or something else. Mm. It was about maybe name calling, you know, speaking for this person. Maybe they stole money, whatever cases mm. that's what we, you were found with. Mm. So for me, I'm very happy because I think for me, I lost a that I was I was following a long time. So I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that you've really come back to being the chief attorney who, who used to speak for people. And I really want to follow you starting starting today because I even stopped following you because of what you used to do. So I was, I was very surprised to say, wow, this is the chief attorney that I used to follow. And thank God, here you are. And I really appreciate it. Please continue on this trajectory. And I thank God to bless you for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep praying for me. Hello? Hello? Hello, Adani. Y yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening, my brother. Uh, I, I don't get on the program, but I think I want to react to, to the live video that you had shared early in the morning, but I followed you on that one. Okay. Um, I think that uh, from the way you've been coming out of late, mm. I, I can feel that you've you bring more towards UPND. Okay. That's my opinion. You bring towards UPND. And uh, uh, nobody can blame you. Because what you are saying, talking about Edgar Lohungu uh, had been at the, an iron fist. And yes, you are right. Edgar Lohungu had the, an iron fist. And you, some of the things that you did with Edgar Lohungu, you did it with him. I, I want to give you an example of Shiba that way. You, you've been telling him that he actually campaigned the Lungu a lot. There are a lot of things that the PF did to him. Remember the wife, Abana, and, and all those. I mean, there was no tolerance on the part of Ethan. The list is endless. It's not just him. There are a lot of people that he has gone in, 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 in police tables. And the, you, on your part, there are, there are some of the things that we are playing the role with them, but PF. Now that the, we saw us and we saw that after the things were not the, going well, we thought that UPND would be, would be better. But to tell you the truth, UPND is even worse off than Edgar Lungu. The reasons are, reason are simple. Even those that we are supporting, like yes, if, if you take the, an example to the human rights report from the, the U.S. Embassy, and you know these guys, the U.S. Embassy, they, 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 they were dying to SS. They labeled the ECA or somebody who corrupt. You, you heard the, 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 the speech from Joe Biden saying the Zambian youth and all those ganged up and they need a corrupt regime. But they have also been no noticed that actually HS is ruling with their an iron fist. There is the, there's no better explanation that somebody can give to, to show you that it's actually going in even worse than me, than, than, than ECO itself. I agree with you when you say ECO rules with an iron fist, but HH is actually becoming even worse because even you in case you don't know, us who are, who are supporting this thing, they know, you think they know that you are their biggest threats. And that's why they have tried by all means to ensure that they talk to you. And ensure that you sort out the issues outside court. To, to ensure that you are supposed to that you need to not to leave your matters with the judges because you don't know what to happen. Exactly, because once you are tainted with the, the judges pronouncing the, a judgment on you, it becomes difficult. You will spend the, maybe some years in jail. And it's okay for you to ensure that you, you yes, with those people, but the, I mean, to start still wondering their image that they are doing better in terms of that kind of I, I, I don't agree with you. I don't. Maybe that's what I would like to, 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 to put the across. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Very good points. Uh, please just uh, stay tuned. I will give my opinion. You have given your opinion. I will react to what you have said. Uh, but let me just take a few more calls. I will make a reaction. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, how has been your day, President? 
All right, all right. It has been okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, um, today's topic is interesting, and uh, is that uh, some of us we've been following you, and uh, I think I just want to chip on chip on one point. Uh, I think for for me, what I've discovered is that. Uh, you see, most of your followers or people that are following you are trying to maybe speak a message to you to say the step that you are taking is a bit biased. I, 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 just from listening to the other guy who says it's like you are more begin, it's beginning to be PND. Mm -hmm. So the thing is this. I think for you, because if I, um, I can, you can correct me, you are saying you are the leader for e e economic equity party. Mm. So I think for, for now, your focus must be on developing your party, the party strategy, and the ills and the things that are not right that uh, are being done, uh, like maybe the current government, you have noticed that he, uh, I'm not saying you attack them, but uh, me, I believe you should use diplomacy. If it means going to state house, you have an appointment with the, the president, it's fine. You can go and tell him, sir, this is what the people on the ground, because we've seen so many videos that are coming out. People are crying, and they, they only cry today in Zambia, is it? Fuel and uh, meal meal. So I think for me, the approach that you are taking to say, you know, uh, PF also was uh, doing a uh, iron fist. Some of the problems are going through is because of uh, their own deeds. I think that is not the case right now because uh, the checks and balances that you are going to offer, you are not going to offer to your fellow position like PF. PF is, is, is gone. Right now, your, 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 your main contender or the one you are trying to correct is the people that are ruling. So, and people are, you, it is on record that after some, at some point, again, Mr. Tari, you were busy championing for, for PF, you got them, they were angels, but things again, like things never went well, again, you start attacking them. So I think it, it's, it's important that uh, you leave, you leave the stage while people are crapping because you have got your following. And the people must see, you know, to say you are now, China, you are, your, your focus must be on your party, not again to start attacking the PF. Because if you attack the PF, they are not in power. They've got their own weakness. And it's you to build on their weakness. If you've seen that there's confusion in PF, you have to now champion your party, quickly mobilize yourself, go for convention and whatever, so that you fight and you become the leader. But if you start fighting them, uh, in like a month ago, you were praising them. In a month, you were, you were there. I remember you went to Edgar Lungu's house when the, the police wanted to pick those vehicles. It was you, you were all over the news, we saw you saying, no, you were all over the news, it's on record. But today, you start making twists. So I think for me, the best advice is focus on your party and offer checks and balances with the government of the day. There's no need for you to start, you know, attacking PF or saying PF, this, they did this and like other gentleman said, the gentleman let says, me, well, uh, let me get, uh, I, I think I got your point. Let me get another call. I got your point and I will make a reaction. Hello? Yeah, well, good evening, Mr. Tulupe Payale. Good evening, sir. Um, I would like to say, first of all, I'm so happy to see that a young man of our generation currently trying to champion on proper ideology that can fix the country with a mutual respect for elders or for the head of states. That's my first point. Second, I will say that even if I have to join you today, I will come running because that's what we want to advocate. We want to be the young people, the youth that are really talk what makes sense instead of just attacking the elders. And I also want to say that when you spoke about PF, you make a, a very good say, uh, point. You and I, we all know what PF have done in the past, and that's can, we cannot hide it. Um, as for the new ruling party, we still have to see what they are going to do best for us. So it's very good that we young people will become the eye opener and we do our check and balance, but based on respect. And on that, I will stand with you. As I speak now, I'm willing to be 
one of your associates in your party. Thank you, Mr. Payele. Thank you very much. Yes. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Wakateka mwa mwa modifa wino. Ah, modifa wino mkwa. Yako? Ah, we. You know, challenge mwa 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 kote kese zi. Ya kwa chama ishu kusana. So, at peace. Eh, ito vina mwa chitile filife wino. But one thing, that's my own opinion. Mwa mwa opposition ni. So, uh, when you um, you are doing politics, not like you, you are attack opposition in any way. So you must know, support you as you be attacked. When you mobilize, na want to as a party. Not again, we are under what we are saying. Let's just concentrate on uh, being in opposition. No, we are going to be government. Like to in terms of cost of living. And we should work as opposition. So to look at my problem, sort out. Oh, that we support the PF, the opposition fake the PF. Because my opposition, let's make a united opposition. So that we start a new chapter. In your opinion, fair and Thank you. Thank you. Let me, okay, let me now, thank you very much, my brother. Let me now, uh, respond. Let me respond to uh, some of the issues that are, have, 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 have come in, and um, I will start. I will take the issue of uh, the milli meal prices and uh, fuel. Uh, last one. Um, these uh, are, are not taking notes of uh, the names, but what I what I what I what I feel the opinions that I've gotten so far is that, you see, I've said I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to be in the middle. And the, the opinions that I've gotten, it's like I want, people want to pull me uh, from to either directions. It's either others are trying to pull me. No, no, no. Okay, you are, you are, you are, you are neutral here, but, you know, lean more on this side. Or uh, when you talk, don't talk about this side, you know, you are still trying to draw me uh, to either sides. There are those of you who want to draw me this side, to the opposition, or maybe to PF. And there are those of you who want to pull me to UPND. For example, when others are saying, no, when you talk, don't talk about PF. Don't talk about PF. You know, because PF is not in government. It's your fellow opposition. Remember where we are coming from. Where we are coming from, UPND used to say the same thing. No, no, no. Don't talk about the opposition. There is no opposition that, that criticizes the opposition. Okay? But PF was actually happy. PF was actually happy. Each time that I spoke against uh, uh, President Haka in the and UPND, you people who were in PF, ruling party then, you were happy. And where you could, where you could even help me with resources, you even helped me with resources. This is a fact. This is a fact. So now, that now that you are in the opposition, you are doing what UPND used to say. No, 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 no. Don't talk about your fellow opposition. Don't talk about your fellow opposition. Just talk about the ruling party. What about you? Even why the ruling party? Were you not excited when I spoke against uh, against UPND? Now, here is the issue. For, this is the way I look at politics. Zambia is a plural democracy, and all other political parties, all other political parties which are not which is which are not economic and equity party. To me, they are my opposition. All other political parties, to me, they are my opposition. I am president of Economic and Equity Party. I am not a member of Socialist Party. I am not a member of PF. I am not a member of Citizen First.
I am not a member of NDC. All those political parties, they are my opposition. That's why I'm different. That's why I registered a political party. I would have joined these other political parties. So, that argument of saying, no, only talk about UPND. Don't talk about these others because they are in opposition. No, they are in opposition, but we have got different ideologies. They have got different ideologies. So please, don't tell me, don't talk about PF. Uh -uh. I'm not PF. I am not PF, and I'm not in an alliance with PF. I'm not in an alliance with PF. Someone said, you were talking about PF, you were calling them angels. Eh? You even went to Edgar Lung when Edgar Lung was, the, you know, when people, police went there. Now, you want to attack them. Yes, there was a gentleman agreement between myself and PF. There was a gentleman agreement. It was not a written agreement. But I was working with them. I was working with them. And yes, when you are working with a political party, if there is an agreement, you can't attack them. You can't be the first one to go and attack them. You have to stand with them. You have to stand with them. And that is what I was doing. When you saw me running around with PF, because there was that gentleman agreement. But now, I, that is the gentleman agreement. I have washed my hands in. I've washed my hands. I said, no, 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 no. That gentleman agreement is not a good agreement. Why is it not a good agreement? Because me, I am throwing myself all out to help the PF. But them, in turn, they are not helping me. That is why I've I've said, uh-uh, I have an change. You help me, you scratch my back. You I scratch yours. Yes, of course. I mean others will say, but no, that day I gave you a five pin, that day I gave you. It's true. A few individuals contributed, helped me here. We have Peracuca two pin, whatever, but it was not substantive to compared to you know what I was going through. It was it, it it couldn't it couldn't help me. And if it can't help you, if in a relationship you are in a relationship where you can't you you, you are not satisfied, why should you continue? Why should you continue? So I've withdrawn myself. And since I've withdrawn myself, please expect me to talk about PF the same way I would talk about UPND. There is no relationship. There is no relationship between Economic and Equity Party and, and PF. There is no relationship. Of course, I'm friends in PF. So I'm not saying, you know, some of these people, they are my friends. I mean, Kampiongo is my friend. Whether we in PF or whatever, whatever, he's my friend. He's my brother. You know, so those friends of mine, they are my friends. But as PF, me standing for them, no. And as PF, when you watch the intuition on the week, don't expect me to keep quiet. And accept it that I'm going to criticize them. From now onwards, if they do anything that I don't agree with, I will talk about that. There is no relationship. Even by, by, by UPND, there is no relationship. I don't have any alliance or any gentleman's agreement with any political party. I don't have. I don't have. So I will express myself on any political party. I will express myself. And they are also free to express themselves about me. They are also free. They are free. So please, don't tell me, no, don't talk about this one. Because, uh-uh, no, no. And then there is a, uh, uh, this gentleman who said, you know, uh, he spoke very well. He said, you cannot be comparing a Edgar Rungu and HH. Stop comparing. Because now 
we we have kicked out PF. We have kicked out PF. So there is no need to compare. There is no need to compare. I agree with you, but only to some extent. Only to some extent. Only the, the responsibility now, yes, the one who is in power is, is President Haka in the But when certain things are happening, when you when PF is criticizing, when PF is criticizing, in certain instances, we should be able to remind them to say, Vane, as much as you are crying, you know, because PF now, they are crying the loudest. They are crying the loudest. You rightly said that there is no one who has been arrested and longer than you. Eh? Longer than you. There are a few, there are a number of UPND, a number of PF people who have been arrested. But most of them, when they go in, within a short time they come out. None of them has stayed Maseos longer than me. None of them. Some of them have even just been there for a few hours and they have been released. But look when they come out, the way they shout. They shout on top of their voices like, I don't know what, they, what has been done to them. So in those instances, I think it is only right. We remind whoever is shouting the loudest to say, Hello, you are crying so much here, but do you remember what you used to do? I think it is in order to remind people so that even when they are crying, they understand. They, they, they have that at the back of their mind. Sometimes karma takes its effect. Sometimes karma takes its effect. Sometimes the injustice that they dispensed on others, sometimes it comes back to them so that they also test it. Of course, that is not just. What is, an, what is, what is the, an injustice is an injustice and it should be condemned. And certainly, I'm not going to say what UPND is doing, uh, they're doing is right. When UPND, when UPND dispenses injustice, I will say this is an injustice. If I can give an example, when I spoke about Ramaywa by Esther Lungu, who I love very much and respect very much, I said it was not necessary for her to be Muma Seos. I said that. And surely that remains not right. She should have been given bond. She should have been given bond immediately. She didn't need to go Marcel's until Ubushiku. She didn't need to, to do that. That I condemn it. That I condemn it. It shouldn't have happened. But then, when you start looking at the statements that are coming out, the statements that are coming out from the PF from the PF, that's when you say, uh-uh, guys, wait a minute. Much as this is bad, this is bad, much as this is bad, you also did wrong things. They need to be reminded that you also did wrong things. You kept people, Mama Sells, for a long time. You had no consideration. I was talking about this particularly. I was talking about this particularly. Um... I was saying, I was saying, with PF, we never had a situation where people were coming out in the night. We never had. Once you are locked in, you are locked in. Once you are locked in, you are locked in. Until they decide to take you out. In the manner that they were treating us, surely, surely, at least me who went through it, the way they came in this house, and turn this house upside down. The way they 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 they, 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 they incarcerated me, they treated me like, like a criminal, like I've killed a person because I spoke against Kadarism. So surely it is only right that we remind, we remind the PF, we remind those who are crying that mm -mm, mm -mm, what you used to do was not good. We accept that this is not right. But maybe if you even compare to the way you treated others, this is nothing. This is nothing. 
you kept people in my cells longer than no one has stayed in my cells as long as the PF were doing. But PF ngawaku ingisha wale ingisha. And you are talking about no 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 eh eh Chris Zumanzimba va 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 mumbipiri. I agree. I still maintain that the issue of Chris Zumanzimba really it is now in court, so I can't say much. It is in court. It has started, so I have to be careful with what I say. So it is now in court, but I still maintain whatever I said behind, whatever I said before. I still maintain what I said on the Mumbi period. I still maintain. But if you want us to count, you can talk about Chris Zumanzimba. You can talk about Mumbi period. You can even talk about me. But do you want to go to PF? Do you want to remember Mwali Teta? Do you want to remember Siandenge? Do you want to remember eh, 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 H.H. Wine? Do you want to remember Chief Mukuni and the people that were arrested there? There were many things that were done. There were many things that were done. And surely it is only right that in certain cases we remind them the PF. And this I'm going to do. This I'm going to do. Even myself, I suffered at the hands of a PF. It is only right that we remind them. It is only right that we remind them. Of course, we will not propagate that. No, fix them, fix them. I will not do that. I will not do that. But as they are talking, they should mind. They should mind. As they are talking, they should mind where they are coming from and what they did. They should mind. And if and I can tell you, PF has not changed. PF has not changed. Why am I saying PF has not changed? The moment I spoke something that they didn't like over the issue of God, look how they came talking. Even what I'm saying now, if PF was in power, I would have been arrested. I would have been arrested. I would have been arrested. So... Truth be told, when I look at UPND, when I look at UPND, when I look at Daka and HTML, when I look at Ed Galungu, how am one did? Uh, let me, um, truth be told, at least Kuri Aka in the HDMA. I want to be a Yes, Baka in the HDMA has arrested me nine times. So, if there is anyone to complain, if there is anyone to say, Haka in the HDMA is a dictator, Haka in the HDMA is ruthless, I should be number one. I should be number one. And indeed, I still hold it that yes, Baaka in the HDMI is fixing. I even said it. Baaka in the HDMI is fixing. I still say Baaka in the HDMI is dictatorial. I still maintain that. But in that dictatorial, Muriko Akamutima. Muriko Akamutima. He talks stuff. He looks threatening. He doesn't smile anyhow. But Muriko Akamutima. But Galungu. Muna said, no, don't compare. No, 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 we have to compare. We have to compare. So that we remember where we are coming from. But Ed Galungu, he will not say a word. He will, you will not, whatever, but he will fix you. In a panondera ndanga na limuchifungo, if Ed Galungu had won the elections, I would have gone to jail. I would have gone to jail. I would have gone to jail. That was highly calculated. Highly calculated and well executed. They even withdraw in Twankane Shurit Wandi. That was not right. That was not right. Look at Moliteta, for example. Look at Moliteta. I was saying, if you look at, uh, uh, at no, it's under pressure. At no, he's releasing people under pressure. And I said, if it is, if we, really the man has a bad heart, he would have just thrown tear gas there. He would have just thrown tear gas there. But PF used to do that. When they call you and you go with cadres, we have seen footage. We have we have a lot of evidence. Paka water when HH was there, you you have seen where police officers were just beating indiscriminately, beating people, beating people. You have seen that video. Pahai court. Where that guy was shot in the butt. Where Ansamansama died. And let me take this opportunity. 
a lot of you like to say you made in Samasama to be killed. I was not, and somebody even alluded to say you were part of some of these things which were happening. And one of the issues which I'm attached to is the issue of Nsamansam. I'm not the one that reported that case where HH was called, where Nsamansam was shot. I'm not the one that reported that case. I'm not the one that reported that case. You can go and check. I am not the one that, that I was not a complainant. My complaints were on the house in, in Cheston. That was my, my, my complaint. The house in Cheston, there is a, another property. I was not involved in the Feruna issue. I was not. I was not. I've got cases which I wanted to bring before court. And I want to repeat it here. I want to repeat it here. Waka in the is in State House. Even today, I can go and report. If justice can be done, I can still go and report those cases. But the cases where Nsaman Samo was shot, I was not the complainant. But Simon Mwewa is the one that came up to say, he's the one and whatever, whatever, whatever. And of course, but Simon Mwewa, he has got his own issues against me. I mean, he wants the worst about, about me. He has his own reasons. I don't want to go, you know, to say bad things. No, no, no. This is not, this is not what I want now. This is, this is the new me. I don't want to say bad things. But he said that. But ask him, ask him Simon to say, is he the one that reported? Can he prove that I'm the one that reported? If I wanted, I would have taken him to court for it. But it's not really part of me. So, it's not me. I didn't work with my PF. It's not me. But the point I'm trying to make is that if HH was bad, he would have thrown tear gas. Those people would not have sat there. Look, if you look at the pictures, people are even sitting comfortably there. Now they color, they want tea, shani, shani, you know, not my fruits, Valeria, but they want to make Could that happen during the time of PF? Could it happen? It wouldn't happen. It was not happening at least. People stayed there. Mupiyef, kutivaikara, mpakano wushiku, badalisha nengoma. Tear gases would have been thrown. So, from my point of view, if really Haka in the HM wanted, I, I mean, it would have been a different scene there. No one would have stayed there. No one would have stayed there. So, this is what I'm appreciating. Then you have spoken about Vakambuidi. Vakambuidi. Vakambuidi, that case, it is me. I took that case as Vakambuidi, as a former minister, who I believed he was corrupt. I believed, I believed he was corrupt. And I took that case myself. I took that case, not by PF. I took that case, took it in court, presented evidence, testified in, in court, and he was convicted. And even today, even if you go back, Vakambu will still be convicted on that matter. It was not about PF. Who pardoned him, by the way? Who pardoned him? It is my PF. I prosecuted Vakambu. It is me who prosecuted Vakambu. The same way I brought that case, Mleb Kakesi DBZ, DBZ director, I took that case. Even Vaka in the HLM, that's what I wanted. Except that Vaaka in the HLM with with ba, 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 ba PF, ba PF valid in Vaaka in the HLM. They couldn't prosecute him on the cases that I brought. But I brought cases, yes. And those cases, it is not where the case where Samansama died, no. It is not. My cases didn't see, didn't go in court. Didn't go in court. So, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, basically I'm saying, we, we shouldn't stop from comparing. And don't tell me, don't talk about PF or any political party. I am not part of that political party. I am not in an, an alliance with that political party. I am not. So I'm free to talk about that party as much as I will talk about the UPND. Of course, the UPND, I'll speak more because they're in power. But these other political parties, when they make statements that I don't like or when they do something that I don't like, I'm free to express myself. Yes, they were my friends. We had a gentleman agreement. That gentleman agreement is not there. It's not there. Then, there is a... Uh,
uh, the issue of uh, uh, at Mubebe kuba ba UPND ba UPND over the cadres. Yes, ba haka inde ichile. Ba haka inde ichile. Like this, this is a genuine. This is coming from a person. This is coming from people. I need to speak about this. Somebody saying, no, you are leaning more to UPND. No, no, no. I'm not. Yes, you might say that. Uh, I will take that, but I will, I will be conscious. But on such an issue, where cadres have been neglected, I will have to talk. I have to tell Vahaka in the HLM. Vahaka in the HLM, look after your cadres. Vahaka in the HLM has become a technocrat, in my view. Vahaka in the HLM has become a technocrat. Forgetting that he was he was brought into power by politics, by cadres. The person that put, uh, what put Vaka in the HDM in power, it's cadres. And I'm, I hope Vaka in the HDM is listening, or he will listen one day. He will watch this. I want you to know this. Vaka in the HDM, you are in that position because of politics. And you are going to be sustained in that position if you have a political muscle. Without a political muscle, you are gone. Political muscle bantu. Political muscle bantu. And this is the on also what I told Vaed Galunga at one point. I told Vaed Galunga at one point, after he left power, when I used to go there, I used to tell I told him, invest in people. Invest in people. Yesterday, whatever happened there, much as yes, Vaaka in the Ichirema softened up. But the people, the voice that spoke, are those people that were outside. Are those people that were outside. Those are the people that spoke for Vamaeva Estalungu. But if you ask Vaed Galungu to say, what has he done for those people? How have those people been rewarded for speaking loudly yesterday? How were they rewarded? Most of them, they went with nothing. Yes, they love Edgar Lungo. That is a fact. They love Edgar Lungo. But come on, Edgar Lungo also has to realize that these people need to survive. These people need to eat. Similarly, Vahaka in the Vahaka in the you like it. When you go for a rally and there are a lot of people, who brings those people? Who brings those people? Who brings those people? If it is not politics, if it is not your cadres, if it is not your chairman, your constitution chairman, your ward chairman, these are the people that organize those people and make you look like you are loved. They make it happen for you. They made it happen for you in Kanyama. Even under these difficult circumstances, your party structures made it happen for you. A politician without people is not taken, you know, so seriously. That's why we are struggling and that's why we are going out there to campaign to bring more people to our party. Because now I also need people behind me. But me, I am struggling with resources. But you are UPND, PF, you can find resources. You can find resources. Where does the money go? Why can't that money look after your cadres? I keep saying here because I see even the Secretary General. The Secretary General who says, no, me have got powers even to call civil servants. Just the Secretary General. Just the Secretary General. Just look at his vehicle. The Secretary General of UPND. Go to the Deputy Secretary General. Just look at her vehicle. Just look at... Come on. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. Yes, there are supposed to be a, a link between government and the cadres. But a political party that cares for its cadres, they find a way. They find a way. But, you, but PF did well when they were in power. They are not doing well now that they are out of power. But when they were in power, at least they tried. But by Twankani, by UPND, by Aka in the HDM, you're not doing good. You're not doing good. And of course, maybe I could be celebrating to say, yeah, uh, because now 
uh, he's losing, he's losing, you know, support. So I will take over. No, my issue is that these are Zambians. They could be PF cadres, they could be UPND cadres, but these are Zambians. I want them to eat. I want them to to enjoy life. So I don't mind if UPND is looking after its cadres. I don't mind. I'm happy because these are Zambians taking their children to school. I met one woman in Livingstone who had fought for UPND so much. Her child can't go to school. Herself, she's doing nothing. She's, I mean, I, I, I arrived, the little that I had, I shared with her, and that's what, that's all she had. And yet she was so powerful fighting for UPND. So, Baaka in the me, I'm speaking, these are Zambians. They could be UPND, they could be whatever, but they are Zambians. Look after them. Look after them. Now, what about the mini meal prices and fuel? Maze, what, are we, what can you do? What is the solution? What is the solution on this one? This, uh, we have spoken a lot about this issue of high prices. And, uh, and mostly, we just talk about high prices, high prices. Yes, we don't give solutions. I want to give my view on this one. I want to give my views on this issue of fuel and millennial prices. I want to give my views. As an alternative government, as a president of Economic and Equity Party, what is my view? To start with, I want to say, UPND, UPND, the policies of UPND are making Zambians miserable. miserable. They are making Zambians destitutes. Destitutes, the policies of UPND. UPND has embraced policies that are not pro-poor. That is the first point. The policies of UPND are not pro-poor. And we have said this before. And where are these policies coming from? These policies are coming from IMF. They are coming from IMF. UPND have gotten a template from you from IMF and they are putting it on Zambia. Now, IMF policies, they may look good on paper, but in reality, they are very harsh. In reality, they are very harsh. On paper, they can look good. It is like when, when, when my mother was trying to do a business. You know, I remember back in the days, my mother used to sell permicate. And she would say, no, mba, nalambo kushisha tomato. Tompanti tomato yari kwata, na ikwata market, na ikwata profit. You know, it has, a, it has good profit. When you go, when I go and buy a, 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 box, a box of tomato, a box of tomato is 20 kwacha. And when I bring it per market to sell, I will make 50 kwacha. Meaning, I've got profit for 30 kwacha. My mother would overlook the, that she has to pay transport. She will overlook that tomato will not finish in a short time. She will overlook that by the time the box of tomato is finishing, she has to buy lunch, she has to buy us food and so on and so forth. But IMF has said, no, no, you go and buy that box of tomato at 20 kwacha. And make sure you sell it at 30 kwacha. They are overlooking other factors. What about my children? Like, no, no, no. They should not eat until you sell your tomato at 50 kwacha. Don't buy food for your children. Make sure you finish the tomato. Once the tomato is finished, you have 30 kwacha. When you have 30 kwacha, then you can buy good food. But that will kill the children. Will kill the children. And this is what is happening with by UPND. By UPND, they have been told, or they were told, part of the things that they were told is that, look, you don't need subsidies. You don't need subsidies. You need to remove subsidies. Subsidies are not sustainable, as they say. And UPND has 
moved in that gear to remove subsidies. They have removed subsidies from fuel. We used to have subsidies on fuel. We, we used to have subsidies on farming inputs. But they have removed all this. And yes, it is a good argument to say we want to, to develop. We want to develop. We want to pay debt. We want to, to be economically independent. But why are subsidies there? Subsidies are there to cushion you know, the poor people. And at the moment, Zambia, the majority Zambians are poor. So when you remove subsidies, of course, things go up. Electricity has gone up. Fuel has gone up. Minimum has gone up. Of course, minimum is an, it is another situation. But fuel, particularly fuel and electricity, they have removed subsidies. But they removed subsidies when most Zambians are still poor. Are still poor. So from my point of view, IMF has been harsh to us. UPND has been harsh to the Zambian people to just remove the subsidies. There is no country which doesn't have subsidies. Even in America, there are subsidies. Even in America, there are subsidies. Poor people in America get paid. Amalo from in America, they get paid. There are subsidies on medication. There is subsidy. There are subsidies there. Farmers, there is subsidy. There are times when they are faced with calamities and farmers are paid. So subsidies are there, but IMF has told UPND remove all the subsidies. But how do you remove all the subsidies when we have so many poor people? Don't talk about social cash transfer. Social cash transfer, it is for, the, for those in abject poverty. But majority Zambians, they live hand to mouth. Hand to mouth is barely surviving. So my brother, the one who asked the, Mr. Mwinga, you asked about the, what is the, your solution. From my point of view, is that at the moment, we should have maintained the subsidies on fuel. And instead of removing taxes, you see why UPND, they remove the subsidies, but they go and give tax holiday to the mines. So from my point of view, what we need is to maintain subsidies so that on fuel so that at least the poor they can uh, the price can be normal you know fewer when you increase fuel a lot of things come in so you maintain at least the prices with the fuel you control prices with subsidies meanwhile you create other income avenues which are other income avenues taxes mineral royalties upnd is letting the mines get away with so much money without being taxed. We are not collecting huge tax. You saw the last tax report where this country has lost so much in terms of tax revenue. So that is, that is, that is a big mistake. That is a big mistake. You remove subsidies and you go and give the rich subsidies in terms of taxes, tax rebates. You go and give them tax rebates, you go and give them tax holidays. That is subsidizing the poor. So UPND is subsidizing, is subsidizing the rich and making the poor pay. That is my view to start with the fuel. When you go to maize, when you go to maize, IMF there are a lot of reports that were there before UPND came into power. I remember when I was at Zambian Voice, I used to attend some of these workshops. They kept on saying Zambia should open borders. You should not uh, restrict you know, the sale of maize. Encourage people to buy. Encourage the private sector. Encourage them to even export. Because the more they export, money is going to come into the country. Money is going to come into the country. And the more money comes into the country, the more you are going to, uh, farmers are going to be encouraged to do what? To grow maize. 
and UPND came into power and they did that. You remember when they just came into power, they opened borders. They opened borders. They brought the private sector to buy maize everywhere. And they said government is not supposed to be buying maize. They said that. Government is not supposed to be buying maize. Let the private sector buy maize. And if the private sector bought maize and took it to the neighboring countries. The UPND themselves, when they came in, they exported maize into, into uh, uh, Kenya. They exported maize into Malawi. And unfortunately, what we grow, it's not too much. You know, we don't have so much surplus. So our surplus was, was wiped out. Was wiped out. And now we have less maize. And the demand has gone up. The other thing that they did is that fertilizer, fertilizer became expensive during the UPND. It became expensive. And they also stopped subsidizing farmers. They also stopped subsidizing farmers. They say, no, we increase the number of beneficiaries and whatever, whatever. No, you increase the number of beneficiaries, but you give them less maize, less, less uh, farming input. People who are getting four bags, you, you, the, people who are 10 getting four bags each, meaning you are giving 40 bags. But UPND came in and they said, no, we have multiplied it. They are now, they are now 20. There are more people benefiting. And yet, you are giving them one bag. How many bags are you going to spend? 20 bags. When before, they were spending 40 bags on 10 people. You see? So, these are the challenges that UPND, these are the mistakes that UPND has made. What is the alternative? The alternative is to go back to supporting the farmers. To go back to, to supporting the farmers. But I can teach them, I say, we have increased the price of maize so that people can grow maize. No, 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 no. It's not that. He has realized that the inputs are more expensive. How much can they sell if they are buying fertilizer at 1,200? How much can they sell if they are buying seed expensively? How much can they sell? So that price is just responding to the high uh, price of farming inputs. And the government is not supporting more farmers. And this ministry, uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, has even announced that they are phasing it out. By 2025, there should be no subsidies. So these are the challenges. And we expect UPND, we expect the Zambian people to continue suffering. Suffering why? Because there is nothing that is being done to cushion the poor in terms of energy. There is nothing that is being done to cushion the poor in terms of agriculture. And we have brought the bigger players, the private sector, to buy maize, to produce a mini meal and take it into the neighboring countries. So we are going to suffer. And this, this suffering will continue until UPND change their policies. As long as the policies remain the same, we will continue suffering and we will suffer even more. What is the solution? The solution is we need to go back where from where we started. Let's start one. Let us, let us make sure that we, 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 we look at fuel, subsidize fuel. We stop this nonsense of saying every, every month you, uh, the price changes. Every month the price changes. We need to stop that. We need to stop it. We need to stabilize it. We need to stabilize it. From there, let us go into agriculture. Agriculture, at the moment, it's a mess with UPND policies. What you need, you still need the, that FISIP. You need it. And the, the only thing is that do it properly. Do it properly such that people can be wind off, people can graduate out of, out of that situation. That is the only way we are going to have more maize. And for now, let us close the borders for now. Until 
we supply farmers, we help farmers to grow so much, then we can start selling. It is gradual. Things cannot happen overnight. It's true. Things cannot happen overnight. But they cannot happen overnight. There must be a good plan. UPND is saying they, things cannot happen overnight. But their plan is a wrong plan. There must be a good plan which will yield the results after some years. That is the president of Economic and Equity Party talking. That is my alternative to what is currently happening. UPND policies are a mess. I've said this. I've given my side. And this is what will continue. I'll continue talking. You can make some reaction, uh, a few reactions by calling back. Those of you who want to call, to call back, you can call. I'll pick calls at this point. I think I've responded to all the issues that you brought out. So I can respond to, you can call in and make your reactions. I can, I'll take a few, a few phone calls, a few phone calls. Just for you to make a reaction out of what I've, uh, what I've said. The number that you are calling is 076, zero, sorry, 0763302207. The number that you are calling is 0763302207. Hello? Uh, hello? hello? Yes, please. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, yes, sir. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Yes, you are, talk you are talking to me from Shoma. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, please never mind the noise where I am. There are people who are making noise. Uh, I must say I'm very proud of you. Uh, I have followed your program. Mm. And I'm super proud of you. You are talking sense. Mm. Uh, and I can assure you that in Shoma Central, I think I can be one of your member here, and I would want to contest under Shoma Central because I'm seeing sense now. You know. As youth, we need to wake up and make sure that we put things together and govern. Mm. Um, I like the way you're coming out with vision because looking at what President Hidrema has achieved, it's not everything which is good for sure. Mm. Other things are not okay, mm. and other things are good. Mm. And the, when we have sober opposition parties like you are coming out, it even makes sense compared to other opposition leaders. Mm. These others are coming in open just to insult, you are even offering solutions to the problem that we face. But here you come today, you are you are giving alternatives and even standing for the truth, saying how they are. Mm -hmm. For sure during PF a lot of people died. We can't run away from that fact. And I don't think there's any person who would want to go back to the gun culture where we had come from during the PF. Everyone is aiming for change. And if the UPND has failed in other areas, well and good, we've congratulated them who achieved one part in capitalism, and now we forge ahead. As you are coming in power, I know that you're also going to do something good, and we'll make sure what you are fighting for is for a better than you. Yeah. That's all what we want. And like those people who are coming, insulting the president here and there, those are never solutions. And the way you are coming now, that's how a politician should be. Just talking the truth. Because when you say the truth, truth will always stand, you know, you will always set you free. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, uh, the sentiment that uh, the Republican president made mm. while he uh, visiting Kanyama, where he said that uh, PF should stop now. We understand they are regrouping and they should stop doing that. If they continue, and stuff, will go straight on his neck. 
What uh, would you what do you make uh, of uh, that uh, comment, okay. uh, especially coming from the Republican president? Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I followed your program. Mm. Uh, so far, I just want to ask, uh, to comment about um, uh, uh, Honorable Munia Zulu on uh, that statement which he issued to say um, the president calls for any elections and uh, tomorrow is, is, uh, is dissolving the parliament. So, I, I, I want you to help me on that one. I have already... I spoke about this, I'm sure you, you joined in later, but I spoke about this. For me, that was a careless statement, and I must tell you that uh, Parliament is not being dissolved. So that is basically what I have to say on that. Mm. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.